Hello, my students, uh, and welcome to our hands-on project for this week. Now, as you could see, I do have many different materials that we discussed in class. For this activity, you should have um, Play-Doh, but it could just be a small little piece, just like this one right here. Okay, so again, you're going to need your Play-Doh. Make sure you have that, but you just need one little piece. Okay, you're also going to need some scissors. And you're going to need a water bottle, an empty water bottle, because you will be cutting this part of the bottle with your scissors. That way you have two parts. We will be using both of them. So make sure you have that handy. You're also going to need either um, glue stick, if you have glue stick, or if you don't, you could use tape. Okay, so you could use either or because we will be taping our or gluing our cotton balls so you're going to need about uh, i have a lot of cotton balls here but if you have maybe eight of them you'll be good no worries so i'm going to put this to the side since i'm cutting them out and you're going to need two straws okay if you get the straws that are bendable it's fine if not absolutely um no problem with that so make sure you have two of them and a syringe <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry, you don't need the needle and it could be any type of syringe. This is from um, our little medicine cabinet It's about five milliliters But if you have the jumbo one that um, I suggested for you to get for another project You could use that as well. Okay, and of course you need your construction paper It could be any color of your choice. This one is pinkish. Um, just make sure it's not white unless you want to paint this a different color because white and white, you won't be able to see the difference. Okay, let's get started. So in our class, we have been talking about the escritory system and um, certain challenges or problems, diseases that um, some people may have with the um, escritory system. Today, we will, we will be focusing on the urinary system, which consists of the right and left kidneys, the urethers, the bladder, the bladder neck, and then the urethra at the end. So for each of our materials that we're gonna have, um, it's going to illustrate what, um, what the model has right here. So let's first go ahead and get started with the right and the left kidney. Now our kidneys will be um, represented as our well cottons the cotton will represent the kidney so i'm going to put my two cotton piles right here on the side now i am trying to not that i'm very creative but i am trying to make sure it looks like a little bean many of you are saying Mr. Romero, it looks kind of like the kidney beans and you're right so if you want to go ahead and be creative and try to make them as a kidney bean just like it um, looks in the image you're more than welcome to Okay, so you're going to have your right and your left kidney. Now, you could go ahead and glue this. That way it doesn't fall apart. I am going to put some glue. I actually have some adhesive spray. So I'm just going to put it here. Okay. And it's going to stay. Now, let's say you don't have any glue or anything. If you have any tape, you could also um, go ahead and just take them absolutely no problem so it is up to you depending on the resources that you have at home okay i'm just going to put them like this so they do not fall apart and again you could always improvise this based on what you have at home um, my mom i know when i was growing up we didn't have all these materials so what my mom used to do in order to make glue she would get the egg whites sorry about that she would get the egg whites and a little bit of um, flour, mix them together, and then that was our glue. Pretty good, by the way. So if you want, um, if you have a little bit of egg white and some flour, mix them together, and you could actually create glue. Okay, so now we have this information here, and I'm going to label it, because this is my kidney. So this is my right kidney. And this is my left kidney. 
Now, what are the functions? What's the job or the responsibilities of the kidneys? And it is very important to know um, that the kidney is what filters your blood. It removes the waste from your body, which is from the respiratory system, and it controls the body's fluids balance and keeps you keeps the right amount of electrolytes. And all that blood, all of the blood in your body does um, pass through them several times. So it is very important to have your kidneys healthy, okay? Yes, you could survive with only one kidney, or you could go ahead and donate one kidney if a family member needs it, um, but that is another issue that we could talk about. But many people do survive with only one kidney when they don't have their two kidneys, then we're talking about um, probably getting a, a organ transplant or there are other um, things that you could do. Okay, so kidneys are very important, my kids. Now, the next thing is we're going to get our straws. Okay, our straws also represent something. Now, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put my straws one facing to the left and one facing to the right. Okay, now these straws actually represent, and I'll go, I'm gonna go ahead and put the image right now. Okay, so the straws are gonna represent the urethra, okay? This urethra, these are the little tubes going down. Notice how it is connected from the key into the um, urinary bladder. So the urethra is um, a tube that carries the urine from the kidneys and into the bladder. So you have one on each side of the kidney. And its responsibility, again, is to transport the urine. Now, based on this one, let's go ahead and go back. Okay, so again, based on this one, I'm gonna put both of these here together because they're going to transport the urine that's coming um, out, everything, all the liquids that's coming out of the kidney and I'm going to put it down over here with the bladder. Again, you could use either tape or glue. I'm going to go ahead and put glue. That way it's not moving here. Okay. And then now I'll put, I'm putting tape, sorry. You could glue it. Just be careful. And I'm going to go right here inside so we know it's connected inside. Okay. And I'll go ahead and put a little bit more tape at the bottom. Let me put this up. And I'm going to go ahead and label this. So there's two, and I'm gonna put the urethra right here. Okay, so you have two of them. This is it. So again, I'm gonna put this, and then at the bottom, I'm gonna go ahead and get, remember our bottle right here? I'm gonna go ahead and this is gonna be my bladder. Okay, so I'll put this a little bit up, and I want you to be careful. So you're going to put the straws inside. Okay, so if you have to lift it up a little bit, you could. Make sure it's inside because you will be taking part of the urinary system right now and you don't want your paper to get wet. So make sure it goes inside. Again, you could put more glue or tape. I'm gonna go ahead and put tape, okay? And I'm just going to paste it on this side right here. Okay, all right. Now, this, again, is my ladder. All righty. So, what is the responsibility of the ladder, the function? Well, the, um, the urinary bladder's job is to store the urine. So, everything here is stored. Let me go a little bit up. Okay, so all of this is stored, and this is when you have the sensation of, oh my goodness, I need to go use the restroom, I need to go use the restroom. So it sends signals to your brain telling you, hey, let's go to the restroom. And once this is full, then guess what? You're going to go urinate, and that's when you use the urethra, which is what gets the urine out. So this one right here, okay, if we close it, that means... You're not using the restroom, okay? But when it's opened, that means your urethra opens up. So I'm gonna go right here. And this is the responsible 
urethra. This is the responsible organ of you going to the restroom. All right, so now we have our main organs, which is the urethra, the bladder, the urethra, and the kidneys. Now, how would this work? Well, if you go ahead and let's see how I could do this so we could um, put this up. What you're going to do is you're going to put the bottle, the rest of the bottle, in here, okay? Because when the water goes through, you're going to see it um, going out. So let's give it a try. All right, so hopefully it does work since I have to rearrange the um, camera at a certain angle. So here we go. We're going to place our cup down here. So pretend this is a restroom. You're sitting down and this is where your urethra is. Okay, so as I'm holding this, okay, you're going to get your syringe and you're actually going to fill it up with um, water. Okay, now you're going to make sure you put this, and this is actually easier when you don't have the camera in front of you. You're going to put this right here in the entrance of the straw. And you're going to flush this all the way until we see it coming down. Okay, let's give it a try. Okay, so I have my syringe, and here we go. Boom. Okay, I hope you guys were able to see it. So again, I was able to put the syringe right here into the straw, and then you saw the process. Well, Mr. Metal, no big deal. We know that. Yes, but what about kidney stones? Okay, now, this here is a normal, um, normal and less, well, not painful, no painful way uh, when you urinate. But what if you had kidney stones? Now, kidney stones, my kids, um, that will be represented by our um, little play-doh so you get that little ball of the play-doh and put it on the other on the other um, urethra put it inside you're going to notice that when you try to flush it down it's going to take a longer process you're going to need more liquids to push that kidney stone down and that's a very painful pro process for many now what are kidney stones now, kidney stones are small little crystals that um, your body is producing due to maybe excess of salt or any other health problems. So, if you have the um, potato right here, try to see how many times you need to flush it. Try to compare and um, reflect why is it easier for water or for urine to go through the urethra when, um, when there's no kidney stones compared to when you have them. Okay, so I hope you were able to understand the little um, hands-on project that we did. Remember to um, label and know the role of each organ. Have a good one, my kids. Bye.